going on everybody? It's Van Glorious. I'm here at JD Muscle and today we have our shop car here, our 22WRX. What we're going to be doing is an ETS intake system. So I want to tell you a little bit more about this system and what are the great benefits of it. So ETS has been around for a while from their intake systems, turbo systems, intercoolers, and you name it. They just have a whole bunch of powertrain options that have been amazing and quality. So we're going to dive into the box right now. As you can see, the packaging is pretty nice. You actually get like a form-fitting top for this. So it keeps your package nice and secure and nothing gets bent in box. Between Dyna results and customer feedback, the ECS system has some of the best gains in comparison to other brands. As you can see here, we have the filter, we have the inlet here, we have the piping, and then we have the optional air box. This air box is gonna be great to lower IATs. So if you're the type of person that wants to maximize your gains, you should option this with this as well. As you can see, we have silicone couplers, and then we also do have your clamps and hardware over on this side. Hey guys, it's Stan with JD Muscle. We're gonna walk you through this install. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be get, removing all the stock stuff. So the stock horn, intake horn, stock box, and we're gonna get down into the inlet for the turbo. Uh, the ETS system will replace all this stuff 100% except for the intake horn. This is gonna be a reusable part. First step, we're gonna use our clip tool to remove the, the intake horn. Two clips, get under it, and take slides right out. Our next step is getting into the box. So we're gonna be removing the intake box. There is a mass sensor that needs to be removed. We're gonna be removing that as well. Um, you're gonna need, uh, there's two 10 millimeter bolts at the bottom and a couple of worn drive clamps that we're gonna get out of the way and the box will come free. After we've removed the two 10 millimeters at the bottom, there's a 10 millimeter nut at the top of the box. We remove that. You can already see that the box is starting to come out. Um, back on the back side, you're gonna have a MAF sensor we're going to unplug. Move that out of the way. On the very back of it, you're gonna use your clip tool to remove the sensor from the box. Pops right out, move the sensor out of the way. Now the box is free, just need to release this worm drive clamp. Once that worm drive clamp is out of the way, this whole box will come right out. There's a clamp down here we're gonna need to take off and it's going to release this entire accordion intake. This is also gonna be replaced with the new ETS intake. There's one more 10 millimeter bolt down here that needs to be removed that will release this entire system. The next step is we're gonna be removing the clamp from the turbo inlet. It's a tough spot, you gotta get under the car to get to it. I'm using an eight millimeter socket to get to that clamp. Give it a pull, pops right off. Now this entire accordion piece is where you're gonna come out. Now that we have everything disconnected, <clears throat> this accordion piece will come right out. Our next step is to get the coupler on, the turbo inlet. I like to face all my clamps up to give it easier accessibility to tightening the clamp. Then we're gonna secure that first clamp. Our next step, we're going to be installing the pipe into the coupler. On the back side where the pipe comes up through the fender liner, there is a pre-drilled hole in the frame that we will be using. This piece with this nut, there is a pre-drilled hole in the frame that's already threaded for you. We're gonna thread this piece in. Let's get it hand tightened. Your pipe will slide onto it. Install your nut. Okay. 
Okay. After we've installed the next coupler onto our pipe, uh, we're gonna come up here and focus our attention to this bolt. We're gonna be using this piece here, which is part of your mounting hardware for the box. Before we install the inlet, we need to transfer over the MAF sensor from the old box into the new one. There's two screws there. These screws are not reused. Pull the sensor out. New sensor goes in, and we're gonna use the screws that were provided in the hardware kit to mount the sensor to. There is a gasket on the sensor, so you do have to press firmly down to ensure good contact and that everything is flat. Do not over torque your screws. You just want to snug them down and give them a half a turn. Our next step, we're going to be installing our inlet adapter into our coupling. Rotate it enough. Just make sure you have enough room to still plug in your MAF sensor without straining or stressing the wiring harness. So that might mean you need to rotate it backwards. And plug this in. Bring your clamp up, make sure everything is facing correct. Tighten everything up. And then it's a cone filter on top and then we put the box on. And then we put the box on. The next step, box goes on. Uh, the little 90 degree that we have off to the firewall, you wanna make sure that is all lined up. So we actually start from here. So we'll make sure this is lined up first. We'll roll over to the bolt that's on the frame. And then your last bolt will be down here on the frame rail. Tighten all those up and we're good to go. Our last step is installing the horn. Um, so it slides in, but because uh, we're JD Muscle, everything is upgradable. So we're gonna go with the carbon fiber. And pop our two clips in, install's done. That concludes our install. Pretty straightforward installation, even for a beginner. Uh, we will put the product link down below. Uh, please stay tuned for more episodes.